In the Dark Millennium, the people of the Imperium offer up their prayers to the God Emperor. They pray that he might save them from the vicious alien, the loathsome mutant, the cruel heretic. But it is not he who answers their prayers, but his daughters, the Adeptus Sororitas, the Sisters of Battle. Armed with blessed power armor and sacred relics, their unshakable faith leads them to descend upon their enemies with prayers on their lips and bolt guns in their hands. All right, we are going to be looking at the Adeptus Sororitas today. Yay! Let's this, do it. I've been waiting for this one since I was born. I swear, the Sisters of Battle okay. are my favorites. Who's your favorite? All of Warhammer. Who's your favorite of the Sisters of Battle? Uh, <laughs> Sister Three. <laughs> you guys will be writing what you think each character does, or what each miniature's role is in a fight. Oh. Okay, alright. Yeah, this see this is better because I remember in the last video Brady he was, was cheating. Brady was cheating Pop all the time. Was he was changing his answers and I... so this is more yeah, you're right. This will be our first oh. These are Battle Sisters. Pretty obvious, obvious, but yeah. Okay. They kinda look like um copy paste of each other though, to be honest. <laughs> I like the one that's holding the treasure chest up high. Look what I have. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get it. All right, I'm done. Okay, so what are your guesses? Okay. All right, I'll go first. Okay. So mine says that they are obviously the sisters, all right? And the babies, they are the messengers. Okay. And sometimes part-time, they work as the hairdressers because there's no way that they can all get their hair. The Karen haircut. Yeah, so perfectly in sync and nice all the time without hairdressers. Okay, so I wrote, um, they fight bad guys. Um, they use faith as their power, and they are the main troops of the Battle Sisters. <laughs> they just wrote everything that you just, <laughs> like the first two sentences of the Wikipedia page. Brady is technically correct, the best kind of correct. These are Battle Sisters. They serve as the bulk of the Sororitas force and are basically a mixture of a foot soldier and a nun. They praise the Emperor not through prayer, but through acts of combat. To a battle sister, nothing spreads the Emperor's holy light quite like a flamethrower. Oh my, that's a flamethrower? I believe that is a Melta gun, which is which is a very specific kind of flamethrower, in that it is not in fact at all a flamethrower, more it shoots excited atoms, like superheated atoms, that basically just vaporize whoever gets hit with them. That's cool. <laughs> all right. I like that. You ready to get another one wrong? All right, hold up. I didn't know we were going, uh, no creativity, <laughs> just copy-paste the description. Hey, all I'm hearing is I got it right. Oh! Oh, wait. Are so these, these guys the look similar. These guys got the goody ass, goody ass, and those guys got the shoddy Bugattis. Well, actually, here's how we're gonna do it. Um, you guys have to guess what kind of guns they're using. And I will not be accepting shoddy Bugatti or Gria Gria as a guy. <laughs> Damn it, he's already written it. <laughs> I'll go first, because I'm pretty confident about this one. So, the first one right there, they are called the Sisters of Shoddy, and their weapon of choice is the Double Glup Twin Cannon Hand Booster Madness. Uh -huh. I, that's, I think that's what they call it. The second ones, they're called the Sisters of Guriatata. <laughs> right? And their weapons are called Power Equalizer Winner, Power Equalizer Winner, aka Pew Pew. Pew. There you go. Wow. I, let me let me see you try to top that. These ones are the higher ups of the <laughs> Sisters of Battle because they have red instead of green. Um, which also means they have more Psyker power. And then, what else? What else there? Oh, their guns? They use guns that shoot crosses, and the tips <laughs> of the crosses have been sharpened. Okay. Point to Paul on this Damn. one. Damn! That's not even... What? That I is not... Sister that is not shoddy. even remote... That is not even remotely correct. <laughs> These two groups of sisters are respectively known as the Celestians and the Retributors. Celestians prefer energy weapons like flamethrowers that spew a hyper-flammable material called Prometheum, which can melt through solid metal. The Retributors are... their favorite weapon is the favorite weapon of a lot of the Imperium, actually, the Bolt Gun. 
the bolt gun basically fires this huge shell that is tipped with depleted uranium and it punches right through armor and explodes once it penetrates. Okay. So what part of his answer was correct? <laughs> you know what? Actually, no. Points for neither of you. Okay. <laughs> uh, you should have <laughs> kept your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the next one. Oh. oh. These three, I'll, I'll give you a hint for these three. These are non-combatant sisters of battle. The Imagifier, the Hospitaller, and the Dialogus. All right, you go first this time. All right, so number one, we got the Preacher. <laughs> this lady goes around and- <laughs> What's she gonna do, preach to the- You know what? Preach she's to on the a, enemy? She's on a, a, a mission, all right? She's been sent on a mission. She goes in first, tries to uh, convert, you know? The second one, Healer. Uh, uses the syringe and like the the words of power um, and the third one is uh, the bard slash hype man they use their powers <laughs> to hype the battle sisters up I actually have their names so the Emgafires they are the flag holders because every battle army needs someone to hold their flag so they know who they're fighting and who they represent and the hospitalers are obviously they're the medics they're the easiest ones the last one the diet lobas they are the, so they have diet in their name. So they're obviously the nutritionists for the sisters of battle. They make sure they're getting their protein, their carbs in, so that they could be able to perform their max efficiency. I think you misheard that one. There's no way. It is dialogus. Like dot, like dialogue. So those aren't recipe books on her, <laughs> on her head. Assigned to elite squadrons like Celestians or Retributors, the Imagifier bears a sacred duty. She must carry with her a holy relic or symbol of her order into battle. Other than the effigy she carries, she is completely unarmed. This is meant to show her unshakable faith in the Emperor's protection, which is meant to encourage her sisters. The Sister Hospitaller is trained in the medical sciences to heal the wounds of her sisters. She uses uh, surgery, medicine, and that sort of thing, and when she needs to, she'll provide what's called the Emperor's Mercy, which is, uh, if someone's too far gone, she'll, uh, put one in the skull. Yeah. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And the final one, which is the most interesting, is the Sister Dialogus. Because while they do preach to their sisters, encouraging them into battle, they also study the native language of whatever world they're attacking. And what they'll do is that they'll preach in the enemy's native language, telling them how fucked they are, or encouraging them to submit and convert to the Emperor's will. That's a, that, that's a power play right there. Yeah. <laughs> These are called the Sisters Repentia. Whoa. All right, I already know this one. Well, mine is just clear and simple. Uh -huh. They're the Sororias Repentias, right? Yes. So repent, means, you know, obviously to repent. Uh -huh. And so these guys, I'm sure, are like the inner, like an inner group, like the, kind of like the military police. Uh -huh. So they go around and they actually like govern the, the, the sisters themselves. So if there's like a traitor amongst them, if there are, you know, sisters that aren't pulling their weight. Okay, okay. <laughs> if we're sticking with that, then mine are sit, sinners forced to battle, by Battle Mommy with the Whip. <laughs> you, that's a point for Brady. Woo! Are you kidding me? This is the Repentia Squad. If a sister violates the strict tenets of her order, she is cast from her temple and joins the Sisters Repentia. There the sisters begin the long work of absolving themselves of their sin through self-mutilation and prayer under the guidance of a Repentia superior and her neural whip. The sisters Repentia wade into battle without armor or firearms, assured that the Emperor will protect them or at least grant them a glorious death in his service. To the sisters Repentia, a death in combat may be the only way to earn the grace of their god, but those few sisters who survive their tenure may re-enter their old orders and be welcomed as heroes. The Repentia's weapon of choice is the Eviscerator Chainsword, a bulky, 
brutal chain blade of immense size. Its burdensome weight serves to harden the sisters' bodies as well as their souls. You look in close, they are jacked. Yeah. Jeez. So these are basically like the gladiators. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they just throw in there and whoever survives may become a, a big name. But other than that, the rest of them are kind That's of destined brutal, to die. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> and And the whole idea is to earn forgiveness, you have to fight your best and die for the emperor. You can't just like commit seppuku or something. This hat, you have to, you have to fight to survive. Because if you don't, well, bad things happen. <laughs> That's when the, 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 the military police come. These ones? 